Everything we use depends on silicon semiconductors called chips. century had oil. The 21st century has chips. India has announced 10 a billion dollar plan to attract manufacturers of chips. Customers are going, where else can I go? And so the answer is India, India, India. Oil to metals firm Vedanta signed a deal with Foxconn. As per recent reports, the Vedanta Group won't get government incentives to make 28 nanometer chips. Hi, everybody. In a race against time and fierce global competition, India finds itself at crossroads, striving to revive its dreams of becoming a chip making powerhouse. Join us on a thrilling journey as we uncover India's pursuit of semiconductor supremacy and understand why is it such a challenge to set up a semiconductor fabrication unit and ecosystem around it. What steps are India and other countries taking to woo global semiconductor companies? And most importantly, how Indian government is countering these challenges. Imagine a country that had a vision, a decade ahead of its time. India's ambition to become a global leader in semiconductors was actually born in the 1970s, and it has a significant connection to the state of Punjab. India recognized the transformative potential of semiconductors, foresaw a world where electronic components would power everything, and complex chips would be at the heart of it all. With this in mind, India took a bold step and established the Semiconductor Complex SCL in Mohali in 1983. Their mission was to design, manufacture, and perhaps even export these chips to the world. Unfortunately, in 1989, disaster struck as a devastating fire consumed the dreams of India's chip makers. Also led to a loss of RS-60 crores worth of imported equipment. The setback was immense, compounded by the nation's internal struggles. Almost a decade passed before India could put back together its dreams of chip making. During this time, the need for chips was rising fast, and electronics made their way into each and every household. Taiwan had been actively developing its semiconductor industry in the same period. While India struggled to recover fast, Taiwan emerged as a contender. The United States and Japan sought cost-effective solutions and turned to Asia, where Taiwan stood tall. It worked on three key things to set up semiconductor industries that attracted foreign investment in this space. Number one, uninterrupted power supply. You absolutely cannot set up a plant without this period. Occasional power outages or fluctuations are also a challenge that needs to be managed in semiconductor manufacturing. Number two, ultra-pure water. Millions of liters of ultra-pure water are required for semiconductor fabrication. Even a basic fabrication unit is known to consume more than 20 million liters of water per day. Number three, pristine location and clean workspace. To provide an ideal environment for semiconductor manufacturing, Taiwan established dedicated semiconductor industrial parks and zones. Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Corporation, or TSMC, became the undisputed champion and today produces over 60% of the world's semiconductors and over 90% of the most advanced ones. Then came the unexpected, a global pandemic in 2020 that exposed the vulnerability of global supply chains, particularly in the semiconductor industry. Dependence on Taiwan for critical chip supply became apparent. In addition to this, the rising tensions between China and Taiwan urged India and other countries to invest in tech-led growth and strengthen their semiconductor industry in the coming decades. To seize this opportunity, in December 2021, India made a bold move, announcing a staggering $10 billion incentive for the semiconductor industry. The government pledged to support manufacturers bearing nearly 50% of setup costs to encourage chip production and export from India. The response wasn't as expected. Major chip-making giants like Intel, TSMC, Samsung, Global Foundries, and Micron did not apply for these incentives. Although the joint venture of Vedanta and Taiwan's Hanhai Precision Industries, famously known as Foxconn, emerged as the winning bid, and a $20 billion Vedanta Foxconn semiconductor fabrication facility was proposed in Ahmedabad. Hanhai's expertise lay in iPhone manufacturing, not chip production, and Vedanta primarily operated in metals and mining. As producing advanced chips is an extremely complex process, and as per a Credit Suisse report, may involve around 400 to 1400 steps based on the complexity. Clearly, this venture requires a tech partner with specialized knowledge and technical expertise. 
This is the reason why the Indian government had its own doubts about their suitability for such a complex task. Now, the obvious question is, if the semiconductor industry is such a high-stakes game, what is it that competing countries are doing to lure the tech giants? In August 2022, the U.S. introduced Creating Helpful Incentives to Produce Semiconductors, CHIPS Act, offering substantial subsidies of around $52 billion. These incentives have successfully attracted the attention of some of the major tech giants. Micron, for instance, has announced a plan to invest $40 billion in memory chip manufacturing, while Qualcomm and Global Foundries have formed a partnership of $4.2 billion for chip production. TSMC, the world's leading chipmaker, initially committed $40 billion to establish a semiconductor fabrication facility in Arizona. After the CHIPS Act, now plans to launch another such facility in 2026 to create advanced chips. South Korea, which accounts for close to 40% of the global capacity for the most advanced chips, too unveiled a substantial plan in 2021, allocating a staggering $450 billion to propel chip manufacturing. Furthermore, this year, they introduced the K-CHIPS Act. This strategy aims to offer large investment tax credits for semiconductor R&D and envision building the largest semiconductor supply chain by 2030. European Union also under their CHIPS Act in February 2022 will provide $40 billion as incentives to boost its chip industry. These initiatives demonstrate that these countries are highly committed to fostering and supporting the chip manufacturing industry. To counter these challenges, the Indian government devised alternate strategies. In a surprising move, the government announced a monumental $2 billion investment in semiconductor complex focusing on chip designing. The establishment of the India Semiconductor Research Institute marked another significant milestone. India is aiming to strengthen its domestic capabilities, determined to seize the opportunities presented by the rapidly expanding semiconductor market. This step would assist India to make its mark somewhere in the value chain. In addition to this, recently, Micron has said it would invest up to $825 million. It will receive substantial financial support from the Indian government, including incentives from Prime Minister Narendra Modi's home state of Gujarat. Applied Materials, meanwhile, said it plans to invest $400 million over four years. Considering that our semiconductor market is projected to grow significantly from $27 billion in 2022 to $55 billion by 2026, it is clear why India is determined to improve its domestic involvement in this industry by taking various measures to enhance its presence and participation. Apart from providing enough subsidies to lure tech giants, it is important for India to create a suitable environment by developing the necessary talent and getting the input supply chain in place for the right raw materials, which will ensure the availability of resources throughout the semiconductor manufacturing value chain including the need of 250 special chemicals to make advanced semiconductors. These steps will help to fulfill the projected requirement of 1.5 million skilled workers by 2027 in India alone in the semiconductor field and in realizing the dream of becoming a top manufacturer. That's all in today's episode. If you liked it, please comment with your thoughts and share additional details on this industry. Also, do like, share and subscribe.